My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zertsy coming at you today with some more Madden 20 news. And today we have some more in-depth news about superstar abilities as well as some new gameplay coming to Madden 20. So make sure you guys smack the like button on the video and hit that sub button if you guys are not already subbed to the channel. Of course, I will be doing a video every single time we get some more Madden 20 news. I will keep you guys updated all summer long. If you guys were subbed to me this past year, you know literally every single thing that came out i'm gonna have a video for it so do not worry about it at all hit that sub and you will not miss a single update for madden 20 so first off we're getting to the gameplay stuff coming from madden 20 you guys can see here how madden 20 is addressing past gameplay issues well, you guys can see here it says ea sports has just announced madden nfl 20 out august 2nd and while there are some sweet sounding new features like superstar players and face of the franchise mode fans want to know that the underlying gameplay is fixed. Last year's title was not only buggy at launch and beyond, there are also plenty of complaints about key aspects like the running game, blocking, and catching. And yes, I will definitely say that Madden 19, in my opinion, has been probably the worst gameplay I've seen in recent years. In my opinion, I think Madden... Madden 16 gameplay was pretty decent the first year of the aggressive catch. Madden 15, of course, had the face catching. But Madden 20 is just ridiculously bad with the stuff that happens. Tons of bad time drop user picks. Tons of glitches that should not be happening. And they put out patch after patch with this game. And it seems like with every single patch, literally, whatever they patched before, they brought in something new that was just way worse. Not sure what happened. Although the developer hasn't started talking about specific gameplay changes for Madden 20, creative director Mike Young said there is probably going to be a laundry list of things the community would be excited about. I think we need a lot with animations, it's cleaner, and a more bug-free game. I truly hope they're being legit with that. One of the more structural things the team did to improve the game this time around was to address bugs and tune gameplay as they went along instead of trying to do it at the all at the, at the end of development, which honestly is something you should do. Young says the game was playable earlier than ever, and this has helped them fix more bugs than previous years. Now I gotta say, me personally, I'm not sure how I feel about them continuing to push out Madden earlier and earlier every single year. It seems like when they push it out earlier, there seems to be more bugs involved. But this year, we're gonna play the game, I believe, on July 25th or 26th. If you have EA access, you actually be able to play the game that early. So scrolling down here, it says, Young says the shift in development timeline has even resulted in a gameplay feature that is being internally playtested for possible inclusion. The Unwrap feature was first meant to mix a legacy or fix a legacy issue, but actually became a new way to maybe play. Hopefully, the feature makes the beta as planned. So there, of course, a little video there. Madden gets modern with the run pass option. So yes, guys, we will be having RPOs coming in Madden 20. I gotta say this is actually like a super, super uh, big thing to me. I think it's gonna be really, really awesome. I kind of wish they had it this year, but next year, it's gonna be really cool. Of course, a lot of people are gonna be using some more scrambling quarterbacks like Mahomes, uh, Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick per usual and ultimate team gonna be used a lot run pass option players were conspicuously absent last year especially on the back of the eagles farther popularizing them on the way to their super bowl victory in the 2017 to 2018 season at first rpos were considered too big to include but young says it was prototype polished and added to madden 20 i gotta say i'm super excited about that young thinks the results going to be big for the teams that have rpos in their playbooks along with superstar and x-factor abilities for the top players young believes rpos are going to give teams multiple strategies to win games whether that's in your franchise mode team or ultimate team speaking of playbooks madden 20 won't have a play creator feature but they will be updated throughout the year and overall young says they have more variety this year especially with the rpo madden 20 has a lot on its plate and fixing its lingering gameplay issues and adding rpos will hopefully make the game feel and play differently gotta say Super excited about RPOs, and it seems like they are going to be paying a little bit more attention to the actual gameplay aspect of stuff. But now, let's get into the abilities. So now we actually have some inside information on the superstar abilities. 
I was super curious about this yesterday when they talked about it. At first, the NFL loves its superstars. From team lifting quarterbacks like Tom Brady to game changing wide receivers like Antonio Brown and quarterback crunching monsters like Aaron Donald. But Madden hasn't always been able to highlight these kinds of players in ways that not only make them powerful, but like they perform in real life. I'll definitely say that's true. Uh, this year's new Superstar X Factor feature hopes to address this fact and not only make these players feel like the stars they are, but also influence Madden across its many modes. So yes, it's going to be multiple modes here. The NFL last year felt like a star-driven league, says creative director Mike Young. Appointment viewing base TV because you had to see the Rams and Chiefs. You had to see Donald play. You had to see Khalil Mack play. Young says there's another reason for the new feature. How can the game go beyond ratings? I think ratings are really good at the measurables, he says. The combine type stats like speed. But for instance, Tom Brady has never been a great quarterback in Madden. What we've done is try to differentiate the quarterbacks and give them very unique things based on their archetype. And you guys can see here, we're going to get into this. Here's how it works. There are around 70 superstar abilities in the game some players have none some have multiple these abilities are shaped by real life player skills and in-game player archetypes thus you aren't going to see a slower bruising running back get abilities related to more nimble backs here are just a few examples so first off we have the slot machine ability which it gives the receiver better separation at the line and catching ability versus contact for short routes from the slot position Adam Thielen has this ability. Pocket quarterbacks like Tom Brady with the protected ability get more time in the pocket from their offensive linemen engaging blocks during drop back passes. So it's going to be basically better blocking, I guess, when he's dropping back. Uh, Rams defense tackle Aaron Donald has the fear monger ability. This lets him apply pressure to quarterbacks even when Donald is engaged in a block. That's huge, because under pressure throws sometimes can be very inaccurate, and if you don't even have to be close to the quarterback at all, just literally being in a block, that, that's insane. That is definitely crazy. And also, something I thought about here, with these abilities, right? So say someone has Tom Brady, and you have Aaron Donald. So if you have the better pass protection, and you drop back with Tom Brady, Aaron Donald still has the fear monger ability, so it's still going to apply pressure to Tom Brady, but then Brady will still get more time in the pocket. So, a little bit of a trade-off. I, I feel like some of these abilities might actually uh, like cancel out each other, because obviously they aren't going to show us all the abilities, but I feel like some might even cancel out. Some are dependent on the time and the game and situations. For example, Brady's clutch ability not only reduces the requirement for him to get in the zone, more on that below, but also makes it impossible for him to be knocked out of the zone halfway through the fourth quarter in a close game. So you really do have to get like specific things with certain players, and we'll go over that in just a second. Most of these abilities have counter abilities across the line of scrimmage. There are no automatic victories on the field, but you obviously want to pay extra attention to these players. To this end, so players with superstar abilities will always be marked so everyone knows, so at least we know that. But superstar abilities are just the start. There are plenty of great players in the league, but there are also those who are a cut above. These are called X-Factor players. X-Factor players have at least two superstar abilities, but they also have a zone ability that lets them get into the zone. That state that athletes talk about where their skills are extra heightened, as of the time of this writing, there are about 28 offensive X-Factor players and 22 defensive ones. No special teamers and offensive linemen among them. X-Factor players have to play themselves into the zone for their zone abilities to activate. For example, if Juju Smith-Schuster catches four, run after the catch passes of 20 yards or more, he's in the zone. When he's in the zone, he'll usually win single coverage rack passes with an animation that gives an advantage in that situation. So it's definitely not super easy to activate this because obviously you have to get four rack catches of 20 yards or more, which means he's going to have to get at least 80 plus yards, which still is going to be pretty tough to do an ultimate team or in general, just a regular game. When in the zone, Cam Newton's tackle breaker ability allows him to frequently break the first tackle attempt against him, which is going to be ridiculous because obviously Cam Newton already breaks like crazy amount of tackles. Patrick Mahomes' bazooka ability allows him to throw a maximum of 80 yards when he's in the zone. If someone beats me on an 80-yard passing touchdown from the 20-yard line, if, if Patrick Mahomes is on the 20-yard line and he's in the zone, he can literally throw it to the end zone. I will be 
the maddest person in the world if this man beats me on an 80-yard touchdown in the final play of the game. Tom Brady has a quick, quick read zone ability that highlights the first open receiver with a bigger on the field icon. I feel like that one's going to be really, really good uh, for like newer players. Maybe if you don't always see the open person. That would help you quite a bit with Tom Brady. These zone abilities are powerful, but they can also be turned off. Brady's quick read zone ability deactivates whenever he scores a touchdown or you sack him. Abilities aren't just in franchise mode or play now, they're usable throughout the game, including Ultimate Team and the new face of the franchise mode. This should shake up a player's use in Ultimate Team as well as help you farther define your quarterback and face of the franchise. In regular CFM, Abilities for draft prospects are tied to their development traits, so you'll have to keep your eye on any players with abilities as you are scouting. Then you can draft them and watch them mature and unlock their abilities. What we're finding is it's made a lot more teams a lot more interesting to play with, says Young. Right now, people in the office love playing with the Browns. It's hard to say as a Steelers fan, but they are probably one of the core teams because they have superstar guys on both sides of the ball. So obviously with the Browns, uh, they're probably talking about OBJ. I'm sure he has some crazy, crazy ability for Odo Beckham Jr. More information on the X-Factors and Superstars. Additional X-Factor players can be added during the year. The team says it's still figuring out the cadence of when that might be. Young says perhaps five times during the year. Players may gain or lose X-Factors during the season, but overall, EA wants to keep around 50 X-Factors total. Currently, the most superstar abilities a non-X-Factor player can have is two X-Factor players have at least two plus their single zone ability. And face a franchise mode, you can have as many as seven abilities. These can be swapped around in your player. They're still adhered to an overall archetype, so you can, can't build an overpowered player. It might be harder for X-Factor players to get into the zone in the competitive game style mode versus arcade for instance, X Factors and Superstar abilities are included in Madden Ultimate Team player items as designated by an additional tab on the player item. Details around these aren't fully known at this point, but Young says you'll be able to respect abilities and get some points back. This sounds similar to last year's power up slash training points, so it's probably going to cost like a ton of training to be able to get these X Factor abilities, but it's probably going to be worth it to be honest to get them. Not all the abilities will be widely available. Roethlisberger has a pump fake ability. He might be one of just two quarterbacks in the whole game with this ability. Some players with superstar abilities also have special animations like Aaron Rodgers throwing on the run from his tiptoes. Tiptoes. Abilities are highlighted on the field and in pre-play menus so that both sides of the ball can see them. This includes being able to chart how close a player is from getting into the zone. So that's all the information we know on superstar abilities and X factors. Honestly, I think it's gonna be really, really cool. Also guys, don't forget, I will be having a video out on all this, but this is actually a schedule of when stuff is going to be more released. So May 2nd, we have the face of the franchise. May 9th, we have the superstar X Factor abilities. May 16th, they're gonna be revealing some Madden Ultimate Team stuff. Gameplay deep dive on May 23rd, and then Madden 30th is going to be Madden Mobile. So that is all the stuff that I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy the video And if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment like I said I will be dropping a video every single time. We have some new content out. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time